Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. Dan Dan the Art Man's Book Reviews, Episode 49, The Green Mile by Stephen King. I really liked this book. It was great from start to finish. I listened to the audiobook, which was masterfully narrated by the late, great Frank Muller. He's the king, and when he reads king, magic happens in your earphones. Whenever I find myself typing these words, I was never bored, I know that I'm reviewing a book I'll cherish and probably read again someday, because it is that good. If you just think about it for a second, it wouldn't be easy to write a story about a death row section of a jail with characters that you fall in love with. (laughs) I mean, really? A bunch of jailers as the heroes of a story? But it works so well. John Coffey is a character you'll never forget if you read this book. Characterization. That's where I think Stephen King shines, and why he is one of the best writers of fiction of our time. He writes characters you feel for, you worry about, you love getting to know, you understand. They become like our friends, even though in most cases, at least for me, they would never be your friends in real life. This story had terror, and it had heart. I'm not a big fan of horror, and believe me, there are some gruesome scenes in this book, much more so than the movie, if you've seen it, but most of it is real heart. You really root for the characters and love to hate the others. The characters stand out so well from each other. They're each their own person, not just stand-ins to fill out the story because it requires them. I could read on about other times in the lives of every one of the characters in this book. They were all that interesting and real to me. I'd seen the movie a couple times long before having read the book, but it in no way ruined anything for me because the book was so much better. Ever since I saw the movie, I've been saying, I should read the book. And now I finally have. I really liked the movie and think they did an outstanding job at telling the tale, but you just can't get as down deep into the characters in a movie as you can in a book. I keep saying book, but I learned in the foreword that this was actually a story that Stephen King wrote and published serially in installments instead of as a complete novel. I wouldn't have been able to tell that just as I can't tell when I read a Charles Dickens novel, which is partly where Stephen King got the inspiration to write in such a way. But it makes the story that much more impressive. Stephen King is not a plotter or outliner. He's a seat-of-the-pants writer, as they call it. He just sits down and writes the story as it comes to him, discovering it as he writes it. I don't think most writers can do this and craft as fine of a tale as Mr. King can. I also think the skill of writing with no outline helped him to succeed so tremendously in writing it serially. It makes it much harder to write, even compared to writing it without an outline. But then, not being able to say, go back and rewrite parts in the beginning of the story to make later parts make sense... You know what they say, writing is rewriting. I'm sure he rewrote and had the parts he was working on edited before publishing them, but it makes this book all the more impressive still that he couldn't go back and fix things after the fact. I wonder how many drafts he wrote of each section before it was published as the next installment. I wouldn't be surprised if I revisit this story as I have with Stephen King's The Body which is probably my favorite book. The story really was that good. It held on to me the whole time. Instead of looking to see how far along I was until the end, I didn't even notice how many chapters had gone by 
and only wanted there to be more story so I wouldn't have to stop hanging out with the characters in this book. Five stars without question. Awesome. Well, I have good news for you guys, the listeners of this podcast, which is sponsored by the awesome Audible, who gave me, uh, they sent me an email yesterday and let me know that a really great novel called The Dispatcher by John Scalzi was free. So go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. You'll get a free 30-day trial membership, which also means you can go get The Dispatcher by John Scalzi for free. On top of that, if you go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews, you can get any audiobook of your choice for free, just for checking out their service. And if you're a member, you'll also get The Dispatcher by John Scalzi for free, just for the next few days. So if you're listening to this uh, several days after it came out, in early October of 2016, then you won't be able to get The Dispatcher by John Scalzi like I did for free by being an Audible member, but you'll still get one free audiobook. Now, you can get any audiobook of your choice, but I highly recommend The Green Mile, written by Stephen King and narrated by Frank Muller. Frank Muller is easily, hands down, my favorite narrator. He is just a master. That's all I have to say. And then Stephen King, it's just putting two masters together, bringing you a story in audio that is just fantastic. So go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews and get your free audiobook and 30-day free trial of Audible service. Thank you to Audible for sponsoring this podcast. And if you go do that and get a book, it helps support this show. So thank you too. Now let's get back to that review. All right. So, uh, like I said, I really liked the movie version of this book. Uh, the movie adaptation was fantastic. Tom Hanks is the main character, but one thing that's in the movie that I was really surprised I'm sorry, one thing that's in the book that I was surprised is not in the movie, as far as I can remember, is yes, there's the story of the guys in the jail and all that happens there, but the main character is the narrator of the story. It's told in first person, and as he's writing it, you get to find out that he is now an old man living in a retirement home. And I don't want to give any spoilers, so there's also some other really cool things from the younger part of his life that go with him in his older age. But he, like, finds another friend, and you get to see at him as he's struggling to write the manuscript of this story that is The Green Mile. And there's, like, some bullies in the retirement home, and it's a whole nother story that unfolds as you get to listen to the story of the Green Mile unfold. And it was an all another really awesome part of the story that I really enjoyed. So there's just so much more to the book than there is to the movie, even though the movie did an outstanding job. Uh, You really owe it to yourself to read the Green Mile. There are some gruesome parts, but it's not so much a horror story as it is a story with a lot of heart about people who care about each other and good and evil and just a really interesting creative amazing story by Stephen King masterfully narrated by Frank Muller you guys should really go check it out and with that I believe I will try and pick something extra special for the next episode because it will be episode 50 so that's pretty cool I hope you guys are having a great week hope you're finding lots of great books to read and I hope this podcast is helping you do that. That's all I've got for you guys this week. Happy reading, and I'll see you next week. Mike, take it away. This podcast is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivative works license. Music by Kevin McLeod, found at incompetech.com. The website that goes with this podcast can be found at dandantheartman.com. And you can follow Dan on Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at Dan Dan the Art Man. For Dan, this is Mike Luoma saying happy reading. 
and we'll see you next time.